Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Today is Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. This is my video number 51. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Again, this video is about cross stitch. Sometimes I talk a little bit about punch needle, crochet, but it's always about cross stitch. So <laughs> if you're here for cross stitch information, you've come to the right place. I always share new releases, which are usually at the end. I do have a few to show in the beginning. Lots of new releases will be shown um, today. I've got cross stitch news. I have a giveaway winner from my last video, which was a special on samplers. So thanks for joining me. Let's get started because I have a lot to tell you. Uh, there's lots of deals going on because as we know, here in the States, the Thanksgiving celebration starts on Thursday. It's a time for gathering small this year, probably for a lot of people and um, maybe even just two people like me. Me and my husband will be together cooking and we're having turkey, lots of sides, and it'll be a lot of fun. We have pies coming. We expected two more people, but they canceled. So it'll be fun with just the two of us. We will watch some good TV, maybe a Christmas movie, and enjoy being together and being with our, our fur and feathered family. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, the day after Thanksgiving is known as Black Friday. I've never gone out for Black Friday, but I've done some shopping online. It's a great day for deals and discounts, so I'm going to tell you about a few. So let's get started with some cross-stitch news. Let's start with a punch needle company. This is the, her name is Rose, and her company is called Heart Creek Farm Creations. Now I learned from Rose in St. Charles, Missouri, when Galleria was happening last year, and I thought, you know, I'm going to take a punch needle class. It sounds like fun. I'll just give it a shot and see what it's like. And it turns out I loved it. So if you're interested in maybe looking at Rose's online web she does have an in-person shop as well she lives in indiana so pull up heart creek farm creations you'll be able to see some very easy good starter punch needle projects and you can get it as a kit if you email her she's very very she's just wonderful she wants to help if you have questions on punch needle maybe you're not sure something you saw online or um you're not sure if you're doing it the right way, contact Rose and she will help you. So her website is shop period heartcreekfarmcreations.com. She is having 20% off of your total order plus free shipping. That's pretty good, especially with the shipping. It goes on from 11, uh, November 27th through the 29th, so three days. And the coupon code, which I will link everything down below in my notes, in case you want to go down and take a look, her coupon code is small, B-U-S-S, at number 20, all together. And then click apply at the end of your order. So it is a good place to find some basic punch needle. This is the first one I started with. I've shown it before. This is what I picked in her class. It's a very basic, just so basic. You know, you basically are doing two colors and... This was the, this is it here. I put it on a candle top or my finisher did, I should say. <laughs> I saved a candle top from Bath and Body Works. So I took the candle top off. This provided a very beautiful backing for my punch needle and Kathy finished it up. So again, get something simple to start with. Don't get an advanced punch needle because I think you'll lose interest once it starts getting a little bit more difficult. Something so simple like this can make such a cute ornament. Kathy put bells, and again, that's the back of it. Lined it with cording, and it's really cute. Okay, so I want to tell you about that. I also wanted to, before I go and forget, I wanted to talk about a cross-stitch online and in-person shop in Roden, the Netherlands, which I visited last year during Dutch Mania. The store owner's name is Anna Meek. She's wonderful. She's become a friend. And I wanted to tell you about her Christmas catalog that just came out. I believe it was last week. You're still able to get it. I'm going to link below the area you fill out. All you do is you put your email address in your name and you will receive her catalogs that come out, I think a couple times a year. And again, it's not too late to get her Christmas catalog. The name of the shop is Han D. Handwerk Boutique. I'm going to link it below. 
And I'm also going to put the link if you want to click on it to see what she has to offer in her amazing shops. She has lots of charts that I was able to get there in the Netherlands that I was not able to get here in the United States, maybe not as easily. So I bought them in person. Since I've returned from the Netherlands, I have since purchased things from Anamique's shop online and I received it within a week. Now shipping, of course, especially during this time of year is kind of unpredictable. It could be longer, it could be sooner. So just order and then just think to yourself, okay, it's gonna be a long time and then you might get surprised. Shipping might come really fast. So check out Die Handwerk Boutique in Roden, the Netherlands. The catalog was, or the, yeah, the catalog was in English and it, at first it's in Dutch, look down a little bit, it's in English. It's fantastic. The catalog is beautiful. She has interviews. This time I think it's Teresa Kogut and Madame Chantilly. I think her name is Rosanna. I'm, I'm not sure, but it was definitely an interview with Madame Chantilly. In her catalog, she has recipes. She has inspiration for Christmas stitching, offers free charts. She has a couple of free graphs, free, um, the, the, the little small ones. I think she had an ornament, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, I'm going to put it down below. If you go to her website, go through, say, Chrome, Google Chrome or a website or a, a search engine that will give you the translation. So what you do, I didn't realize this. Anna Meek had to teach me. <laughs> She's the one who had to tell me, go in through like Google, go into the web, her website to her shop, and then it'll give you translate to English, click it, and the whole website's in English. It's pretty awesome. I didn't know that until I talked to her. <laughs> so check out her Christmas catalog because it's beautiful and she has a lot more fun, exciting things to come. It's one of my favorite shops. Let's talk about a free chart that came out from Arafil Thread. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, free chart by Susan Ake. And I think her name is, it's A-C-H-E, Susan Ake, Susan Ake. It is called Joyx Noel. I'll show it here. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to put the link down below. It is in Aurifil's blog. So if you went to Aurifil, and that's A-U-R-I-F-I-L.com, you're going to scroll to the very bottom. In tiny letters, you'll see the word blog. Click on blog, go down and find the Joy It's Noel, and click it. It'll actually give you a little tiny small thing that says, free pattern here or something. I'll see if I can include a picture of it, but I will put the link to the blog down below in the notes. That is a beautiful chart. Another free chart that's being offered is by Madame, uh, Madame Luffy. It is a Christmas stocking, beautiful, and I will put the link for that below. It is charted for DMC. Discount code. Another discount code for Lindy Stitches. She's offering if you use discount code CATS, C-A-T-S, on any, any pattern through Thanksgiving, November 26th, it also includes two new releases that she's just um, shown us. And let's see, one of the new releases is called Cats Love Christmas. It's a set. It's adorable. Showing it here. It includes all three charts. And PDF is available on her Etsy shop. She does have a website. It is lindystitches.com. I'll link that below as well. And she said you can go onto the website if you want a paper chart. The second new release is Mistletoe Loitering Society. I also wanted to show you her newest scissor holder release. It is so cute. It is called Evelyn Scissor Mouse. It is made of good quality wood. It's a beautiful scissor holder and I'd like to show you the one that I have. This scissor holder that uh, she that Lindy Stitches offered on her Etsy shop. Isn't he adorable? And I love how the beak is from the tip of the scissors. It's such a beautiful quality wood. So I'm so tempted to get Evelyn Scissor Mouse because I think she is so cute. But anyway, this is how she works. That's it. You just put your scissors in the top and you've now got a little bird. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So I thought I'd show you mine while I was talking about her newest one. So check out her discount code CATS. That is again, good until Thanksgiving, which is November 26th. 
<clears throat> um, another free offer is from the Gift of Stitching magazine. Now I had heard they weren't producing magazines anymore and someone, um, the owner of the company said, yes, we are, we just decided to start reprinting I guess it was a conversation I saw so I'm not sure if it was between I think it was between the owner and someone but it's fantastic it's back the gift of stitching so they're offering their 2008 magazine for free I'm going to put the link below if you'd like to check it out it is www.tgosm which is the gift of stitching magazine <coughs> slash free issue. So I'll put that link below. It's a beautiful magazine. Next, I wanted to highlight a cross-stitch designer who has become one of my favorites, Galeana Cross-Stitch Designs on Etsy. The reason I'm going to show her new releases in the beginning of the video is because Elaine has so generously offered one of her charts as a giveaway today. So let me show you her new release, the newest release in her shop is called Christmas Castle and it's show it here. It is beautiful. This is a great opportunity to pick a floss that you've always wanted to try. Say you've never tried variegated floss, you know, the kind that change colors along the way or a silk or any kind of, you know, color that you've never tried before. This is such a great opportunity. I am an, an example. I have always wanted to try DMC 115, which I'm gonna show in a few minutes. It's one of my whips that I've been working on. It's a beautiful variegated red floss. I'm actually doing The House of Christmas by Galeana Cross Stitch Designs, and I can't put it down. It's one of my favorite um, things to work on. So I decided to give that a try. Get some DMC 115, try the variegated floss and see what it looks like and wait till you see it's beautiful. So anyway, this is her new release. The I'm losing my space in my notes here. <laughs> uh, Christmas Castle, which I bought. I bought it yesterday. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get some variegated floss. Maybe I'll try. I don't know what I want to try yet for this one, but um, I'm going to continue working on House of Christmas and then decide what I want to do with this one. It's so beautiful. So Christmas Castle. The other new release she had a few days ago is called the Welsh Dresser. And this is your giveaway today. Isn't this beautiful? It would look so good. And like I said, a variegated floss or picking a real pretty silk. I think any kind, any DMC color, it's no matter what you pick, it's gonna be really pretty. You could even change the colors, almost like a color book. You could change different colors and put red hearts and make you know the plates of something or the teapots different colors, make, you know, make the dresser a certain color. It's all in what you created. That's what I love so much about these charts. So this is the giveaway for today, Welsh, Dresser by Galeana Cross Stitch Designs on Etsy. Thank you, Elaine, for giving this to someone, one of our viewers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So in a few minutes, I'm going to show you the house of Christmas that I'm working on. I'm going to mention the giveaway again at the end of the video. And so you don't forget. <clears throat> you're going to comment in comments down below if you're interested in getting it. This, I printed it out for you. It's all ready to be mailed. I'll be more than happy to mail it to you. Welsh dresser. <clears throat> you're just going to comment down below and tell me you're interested. Tell me something you're thankful for. And it doesn't matter if you're a U.S. resident. I mail all around the world and you don't have to celebrate Thanksgiving. Just say I'm thankful for whatever. <laughs> Next up, news. Let's talk about modern folk embroidery. He has, uh, Jakob has announced the 2021 Stitch Along. It's beautiful and there's two different ways you can stitch it, two different color ways. I'll show you here. So what you do is go to his website, Modern Folk Embroidery, and sign up for the Stitch Along. He has one every year. You can also stitch the ones from previous years. It's beautiful. Other bits of news, the cross, I'm sorry, the sampler company, Brenda Keys, is now on Instagram. Yay! She's got beautiful pictures of her work, her designs. Check her out. She is Brenda Keys, K-E, 
Y E S period the sampler company on Instagram. She's also coming out with a new book <clears throat> available on the website, it's the the samplercompany.com. She said it's available on the website November 2020. So I don't know the date, but the book coming out, I'll show it here, Ultimate Sampler Motifs Source Book. I'll be getting it because I am a huge the sampler company fan. I had a sampler video a couple months uh, a couple weeks back and I highlighted all the charts that I have from the sampler company. I love collecting them. The next bit of news that I wanted to share with you is the Stitching Book Club. If you haven't heard of them before, it is a fantastic book club and stitching group that is put together by a lady named Kristen. She does a fantastic job every theme. Last theme was Frankenstein. Pride and Prejudice has been in the past. A Secret Garden has been in the, in the past and is still available in her Etsy shop. What it is, Stitching Book Club is a group of stitchers like me who love to read and stitch. So Kristen puts together a kind of a mystery chart. They're small and very doable and it's available in her Etsy shop, which is Sapphire MT Handcrafts. So this theme coming up, which starts on December 5th, is A Christmas Carol. And again, if you haven't heard of this before, she puts together a chart, a small chart for all of us to stitch together. And we also read the book. And there's still time to get your stuff together. You just need an 8x8 eight eight piece of fabric stitching on whatever you'd like to stitch on. I think she recommended like a cream or like a tan color fabric. All the instructions are in her Etsy shop. What you do is you purchase the chart. You can't see the chart yet because it comes out in pieces. So it's kind of like a mystery stitch along. It's a lot of fun. Then the discussion part of the book is on her Instagram page, which is Stitching Book Club. So anyway, if you're interested in stitching along with everybody, I will be participating as well. This time it is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, 1843. So she says that the first part of the chart will be released December 5th. And that's when everybody starts reading. It says, because this novel is so short, there will only be one discussion day at the end of the stitch along, which is on her Instagram page. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I started collecting the floss. I have part of my floss on another table. I've got my fabric ready and I will be participating in the stitch along, A Christmas Carol. And I will also be reading the book, which I ordered. And it's a beautiful book. I've showed it in the past. I'll try and get it out next time and show it again. So stitch with us on A Christmas Carol. Go to her Etsy shop, Sapphire MT Handcrafts, which I'll link below. And then if you want to participate in seeing the group's progress of stitching or participate in the discussion of the book, go to her Instagram page and it is Stitching Book Club. So this is going to be a lot of fun starting December 5th. I also want to take a few minutes to thank some of the viewers that have mailed me giveaway charts for you guys and cards and I'm still receiving cards from when my shepherd monkey passed away. Thank you guys so much. I wanted to give a huge, huge thank you to Darcy. She has donated not even just charts, but kits, little kits. And I, I saw Mill Hill in here. I see Lizzie Kate, Kathy Barrick. She has sent all of these for giveaways. Darcy, thank you so much. This is amazing. And I have more stash that people have sent me, which I'll show in the next video. I can't thank you guys enough. This is so exciting because I get to mail you charts that people have given me. And, you know, there are a lot of maybe people watching that don't really, that can't afford charts all the time. And this is their chance to win a chart. And it makes me so happy to mail it off to you guys. So I would never ask anybody to send charts, but I, for those that decided to de-stash and send me the charts to get, to use as giveaways, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate that. And I know the viewers do too. So thank you. Okay. We had a giveaway on the last video was a sampler special, video number 50, I believe it was. I had a giveaway, it was the Permin Dutch Beauty. Isn't that just so stunning? 
absolutely beautiful sampler that I bought two of by mistake. So this is the giveaway from the last video and I have a winner. The winner is Stitching Sarah Sideways. Congratulations. Email me at stacer5, S-T-A-C-E-R number five at AOL.com. You have won the chart. I'm happy to send it to you. Okay, moving right along. <clears throat> I received my Al Forest kit. I'm so excited. The previous order at the beginning of the year took four and a half months to arrive, which was not Al Forest's fault. They are shipped almost immediately. I got my shipment sent the next day from Al Forest. It was US Customs that took forever. I looked on tracking. It did get stuck in Russian Customs for a few weeks, like maybe four weeks. And then after that, it was stuck in US Customs Chicago for about three months. So it arrived, I was super happy, and I decided to place another order with Al Forest. I had my eye on a kit for a long time and they were always out of um, out of the product. Finally, I saw it, it was back in stock. I was so excited, so I ordered again. And I had a viewer, her name is Linda, ask if I could show what the kit looks like. So I would be more than happy to. They ship in a very sturdy box. Now this is just the kit box. This does not include the cover box that it actually got shipped in. So this is what I purchased. It is called Hyperborea. I have waited months and months for this to come back into stock and it finally came back. So I'll take just this kit. I ordered some other things too, but I'll take this kit so I can show Linda what it looks like. The chart. Actually, it's like a lot of chart. They always send a little booklet, a cute little booklet. It's got some instruction uh, in Russian and English. Just instruction on some of the there I don't remember there being a lot of specialty stitches no this is just cross stitch instructions so and they give a little picture so they include a little booklet to come with your order the floss is gorgeous here's the floss colors for Hyperborea they're all kind of let me see if I can get a Oh, they're all separate. So anyway, that just gives you an idea of how vibrant the colors are. Here's some more. The beautiful blue. There we go. That's better. And I also got needle minders and a needle. These I'll take out. Ugh, there we go. It's a little owl a bobcat and, or a lynx and a polar bear. So they sent three. Normally I in the kits, I only get one needle minder, but this time they sent three. And the fabric, real pretty blue fabric. So the kit is wonderful and you can also buy the floss separate. You can purchase charts separate from Al Forest. You don't have to get kits, but I like getting their kits because I just love them putting it all together for me. Just beautiful. Let's see, what else do I wanna tell you? Let's talk about a new start that I, you know what? I'll talk about Galliana's House of Christmas since I have it right here. This is what I've been working on. Isn't that beautiful? And this is the one that I chose, the variegated DMC 115 red. I started up in here. I chose Vellum by Picture This Plus, 32 count. And this is my progress so far. Isn't that pretty? I love the variegation on it. I'm so happy I chose this. It's gonna be hard for me not to choose this floss again. So that's my progress so far. I just started not long ago. So it's my favorite, my favorite cross stitch right now. And this is the floss. It's a little hard on the camera to see the variegation. If I hold it up close, maybe. Maybe that's better. So that's my progress on House of Christmas Galliana cross-stitch designs on Etsy. 
my next progress was my new start by Al Forest. Now, along with the kit that I just showed you, I also got a new chart, just the chart because I already had fabric and I wanted to try sulky floss for the first time. Here's my chart, the brand new one, or my new start, I should say, by Al Forest. The thing is, I don't know the name. I can't remember the name. If I, I'll try and I tried to look it up on their website and it was gone. So I'm not sure of the name of it. It's that. <laughs> I can't read it. So I just don't remember what it was called when I bought it. So anyway, this is my progress on it. I am doing it on cream 40 count. Again, using sulky floss. I like the sulky floss. That's my start. Just not very much. I'm getting ready to start that motif at the top top left up in here. I'm getting ready to start this flower thing here. It, it moves pretty fast, so I should have some good progress on this by the next time you see it. I thought I was using 32 count because everybody told me, um, don't use sulky on 40 count, it's too thick. So here I am using it on this fabric that I thought was 32 count and it's not, it's 40, but I'm not having a problem. I think it looks great. Okay, the next bit of progress I wanted to show was stables at Hollyberry Farm. I am working on an enormous piece of grass. <laughs> that grass is ridiculous. But then again, so was that red barn. Now this, I apologize, I did not iron it. I didn't, uh, normally I'll try and iron stuff I'm, I want to show you, but I just want to show real quick anyway, so. This is Stables at Hollyberry Farm. This is the one that I changed the outer corner of. There we go. So as you can see, I changed the outer uh, border color to, I'll show you guys in a minute, I can't remember. But up close, it's a peachy color. And that is my progress. Look at that basket with the red and peach flowers. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, that's the grass. And then after I finish the grass, which will be the next time you see this, the grass will be done. I'll start working on the house, that big white house. So that's my progress. Stables at Hollyberry Farm. That peach is Candied Yams by Classic Color Works. And anyway, so the grass, as you can see, next I'll go up and start working on that house. This is a, my focus piece. That's the one I wanna get done next. Okay, uh, two more I wanna show you. This is a new start I started last night. It is time for me to start stockings. Now, I have never done a stocking, and I decided to do this one on the cover of Blackbird Designs, Tis Halloween. This book right now is, I tried to look online to see if it was available for you guys, but it says unavailable. I think I heard they're reprinting it though. So maybe keep trying, see if you can get it. But um, Trick or Treat is what I'm working on right now. I chose an r, &R fabric, but I don't know the color. 32 count, that's my progress so far. So I'm excited because... I'm starting my very first stocking. <laughs> there we go. Now I had to remember the heel. I thought, okay, I'm going to start three inches like I always do. But what I didn't remember is as I'm going straight down, the heel curls out. So I should have enough. It's only a few stitches. I should have enough when I get to the heel down here, it'll come out a little bit but I think I'll have plenty of room because it's only about right here. So I'm excited. I got a lot of progress and I'm excited to keep working on this. I'm gonna work on it today. Next, and the color of the fabric is so pretty. I wish I could remember what color of r, &R it is. Last but not least, progress. I worked on watermelon tourmaline, Carolyn Manning, this is my one of my favorites. This I work a lot on zooms because I don't have to focus so much. It's repetitive and I know what my count, you know, my 
the count of the squares are. Here's my progress. Isn't that beautiful? And I still laugh because this was not my style. When I would see the new Carolyn Mannings come out, here's the, the chart. When I would see the Carolyn Mannings come out, I would be like, oh, that's pretty, but they're not really my style until I started one. <laughs> now it's very much my style. It's a lot of fun. It's just so pretty. The colors are pretty. Here's the colors, all DMC, beautiful. Look, this is one of my favorite colors here. Beautiful. Look at these. So I'm having a lot of fun with watermelon tourmaline. Okay, I wanted to show two finishes. Since it is Thanksgiving this week, on Thursday, I wanted to show two finishes that one I did myself. It is Country Cottage Needleworks Be Thankful. This is my only Thanksgiving piece, if you can believe that. I chose, I wanted my pumpkins very white. Some, I don't know if it's true or not, but someone had told me to make them whiter than you really want them to be because over time they get dingy and they kind of fade a little bit. So I don't know if that's true, but I like a bright white pumpkin and I'm real happy with um, the way it, it looks. I think I changed these. I wanted black crows. I didn't want dark brown. So for Thanksgiving, I wanted to show this piece. My friend Kathy made it into a fold. And then she used the cording on the top. So that's my Thanksgiving piece that I stitched. I think I'm going to have to do some more Thanksgiving. My thing is, I like Christmas decorations to be up for at least a couple months. Because... We have a tree, and maybe I'll show it in my next couple videos. I have a tree that is covered with ornaments from around the world. I have ornaments from Dubai. I have ornaments from Eastern Europe. And I love seeing them out and displayed on our tree. So, hi, buddy. Anyway, I, uh, I love my tree up in November. So it's up downstairs. In a couple weeks, I'll show you the video of my tree ornaments. If you're interested in travel, you can see some of the ornaments from the different countries that I visited. The next Thanksgiving um, finish that I wanna show you was, done, was not done by me. It was gifted to me when I went to Dutch Mania in the Netherlands last December. Twin Peak Primitives, the sisters, Nerdon and Nerson, gave me a finished, a, oh, it's just, I don't even know what to say. It's so beautiful. They gave me this finished fold. It's just fantastic. So this is Twin Peak Primitives. I looked on their website and the Etsy shop. I did not see this. If you're interested in it, please write to me and I will message Nerson and ask if it is available. It's just beautiful. I love this house. Let me show it up close so you can really see the stitching. The fabric is beautiful. It looks like it might be like a vintage country mocha. And look at that. Look at those colors. Whoever stitched this did an amazing job. And when they gifted this to me to take home as my own, I was all teary-eyed because this truly meant the world to me. This is displayed year-round in my office here or my craft room, I should say. I have Halloween, I have Thanksgiving like this. I also have Nurson's um, snowman that she made displayed year round because I am I love them so much. Why would I put them away? I wanna see them. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you, this gift, because it means the world to me. And it's, I just, I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, we are finally wrapping up the video i am going to show new releases at the end of the video first i want to say a huge thank you to my viewers because since it is thanksgiving on thursday i was thinking okay what am i thankful for i'm thankful for floss tube and the new friends that i have met i'm thankful for all of you watching and everyone that's emailed me and messaged me and have become my friend i i, I am so grateful for your friendship and I'm thankful for you watching my video. I'm thankful for designers that have made and created these beautiful charts and have shared their charts with us. Um, my family, my pets, my beautiful backyard that we had landscaped recently. I just, I have a lot to be thankful for. This year for our family, as you guys know, if you have followed my floss tubes has been 
a very difficult year for us. We've lost family members this year, starting in January, and then we lost my beautiful stepdaughter in May. We lost Monkey, my German Shepherd, just a few weeks ago, and it's been really hard. And I'll tell you, if it wasn't for you guys and your kindness, your cards, your emails, it gets you, it, it has gotten us through difficult times. All the cards you sent for Elizabeth, we still have them, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I am very thankful for a lot of things. Okay, don't forget the giveaway. I'm going to show new releases right now. We have a lot of them. And don't forget the giveaway, the Welsh dresser. I have it printed, ready to go for you guys. I will be more than happy to pop it in the mail for you. This is Galliana Cross Stitch Designs on uh, Etsy. And this is called the Welsh Dresser. So if you're interested in stitching this, please let me know in comments below. You have to be 18 so I can ask you your address. Please don't say the word giveaway down below. And next time I come back, it will probably be in two weeks, I will have more giveaways. I have the chart that I finished A Perfect World by the Scarlet House. I did not get anyone, um, the person that won that giveaway never claimed it. You know what, I'm gonna grab it right now and I'll do it as a giveaway now. Give me one second. It is a little bit wrinkly. So when you get this, don't think that it's, the chart is in perfect condition. Just know that I use this and it is a used chart from me and a little wrinkly. So if you're interested in, number one is the Welsh dresser. Number two, this is brand new. This is from Elaine, the owner of the company. This is my copy and used chart. Again, it's in perfect condition. It's just this, the top page is just a little bit wrinkly. If you're interested in this chart, please let me know in comments below. This will be giveaway number two. All right. Oh, and just tell me something you're thankful for. Could be anything. Again, if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, that's okay too. Just tell me I'm thankful for whatever, and you're entered to win. Just tell me which chart, number one or number two, you're interested in. Okay, guys, let's see some new releases, and that'll be, that'll wrap it up for us. I have a lot of new releases to show, so let's get started. Stitching with the Housewives. They never disappoint. Their charts are fantastic. They have released the February Truckin' Along series. Showing it here. It's so pretty. Those colors are beautiful. That is shipping to shops December 1st. And I'm sitting crooked. If you guys notice why I'm sitting crooked, I have my back is bothering me from I started physical therapy yesterday. Um, again, well, I've been doing physical therapy, but it's starting to really um get a little bit harder because my surgery scheduler was able to catch me and <laughs> Surgery for me, the big surgery on my leg will be December 30th. People have asked me about my arm, how it's doing. It's okay. It's not great. Um, I did have surgery on my arm just a few weeks ago. Um, I'll tell you about that in the next video. So that way we can continue with the new releases. But um, I'll fill you in on that next time. Okay, next we have Hello Winter by Stitching with the Housewives. After that, we have Carolyn Manning, Tic-Tac-Toe. These are pretty, too. Uh, Pedal Pusher. I think they're on Etsy, but she also said that needlework shops are taking pre-orders. Pedal push Pusher, Holiday Hoedown. And let's see. Next, we have Jeanette Douglas Designs, Winter Posy. Ooh, we've got some good ones. I can't wait. There's even one at the end you may not have ever heard of because I never did either. <laughs> Satsuma Street is next. We have four. Candy Claws, Partridge and Pear, Snow Buddy, and Dear Santa. Satsuma Street is also on Etsy. Okay, next is going to blow you away because it's so beautiful. And she has included pictures of the different options of colorways. ShannonChristineDesigns.com, Winter Snowfall. It is beautiful. I think she's stitching this. I saw someone stitching. I believe it was uh, Shannon, and it is just 
oh my gosh, this probably, this chart blew me away because it's so beautiful. And I told her it's one of my, it, I think this by far is my favorite. So look at the different colorways too, because you're not, uh, you don't have to do just one option. You have lots of different options. And that's what makes it so hard because you don't know which one to do. <laughs> okay, next we have Autumn Lane Stitchery, Autumn Town. Why am I thinking they're on Etsy too? I can't remember if they said it was going to shops or um, Etsy also. Tralala, -la. we have four new ones. I'll show them all together. I don't know how to pronounce these, so that's one. I can speak some German, I can speak some Dutch, I speak Spanish, and I do not speak French. <laughs> Nuit de Noel, N U I T D Noel, N E N Hiver. We also have Francais de Noel and Soris Noel. I'll put those down below because if you're interested in buying them, don't rely on my pronunciation. <laughs> You'll never find them. <laughs> hands, let's see. Hands to work, needlework, coming to shops soon. Hannah Clark, 1837. Hands to work, needlework. And then after that, we have on Etsy, Samplers Forever. One of my favorite shops is A.H. A Red Darning Sampler. Samplers Forever. You probably know this on Etsy when you search. Search it as one word. It's a, It comes up a little bit faster or easier. Country Cottage Needleworks arriving in shops, I believe she said this week. Home for the holidays. So pretty. Next we have Waxing Moon Designs, the first set in the monthly trio series. We have January, February, and March. And after that, we have Madame Chantilly, Merry Chris Mask. <laughs> These are so cute. Now in the model, as you can see in the picture, you can stitch it with or without the mask. Do see, go flats, come on, flats. He can hear the clean, I have someone helping me clean the house and um, my husband's outside talking to him so he can hear them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hands Across the Sea, she's a part of the Little Gem series, which is on their website, available in PDF, Alice Williams, 1881. I love the Little Gem series. I love that they're available as a PDF, but I also love buying the books. I, these are, are PDF, but Hands Across the Sea, some of the bigger samplers are available in book form. I will take a book and just read it before I go to bed. I love their books. And it, I'm not talking about a book book. It's actually a chart, but looks kind of like a book. So I love reading them at night. The stories behind the samplers. Next on Etsy, we have sampler and stitches. All one word. Victorian Christmas. So pretty. And next we have Al Forest Ashberry Beads. I did see that the kit was unavailable, so everybody probably bought them all <laughs> because I was looking for it and I'll keep looking for it. Al Forest, they have amazing service. Uh, they ship immediately coming from Russia, so don't be afraid to order from them. You will get your order. It just depends on customs, basically, <laughs> how long they want to keep our stuff. Luminous Fiber Arts series called Christmas in the Kitchen. And... It's on Etsy also, as well as shops. It's really pretty. Rosewood Manor. Oh my gosh, she blew me away with her new release, the red one, and she has a blue one also. So I'll show you the red first. It's called Red Rhapsody. I will be ordering this from Garon Stitchery. He's going to be getting the, I'll put his shop down below. He's gonna be getting the Plum Streets as well, the brand new. I think there were four or five, maybe five, that they released a couple weeks ago. And I highlighted them in my last video on samplers. If you're interested in seeing them, just pull up, pull it up, look at the end of the video. The new Plum Streets are there. So I'll be ordering that from Garon Stitchery. And I also am ordering Red Rhapsody from uh, Gary and Ronnie. <clears throat> but this Red Rhapsody is just beautiful. She also came out with something blue. 
and it's so pretty. Long Dog Sampler, The House of Peacocks. How amazing is this one? Oh my gosh, these charts. I need to live another lifetime to stitch them. Another one, Chessy and Me, Mary Lindsay, 1828. It's available at your local LNS. We have four more. Resting Eagle. They are a company on Etsy. This is under the mistletoe. And we also have from Lottie Daw, I believe it came out today, Nutcrackers 3, on its way to shops now. I love the Nutcracker. I love the story of the Nutcracker. I love cross-stitch Nutcrackers. When I went to Germany last year, I wanted to get a Nutcracker and bring him home. But the Christmas mark, the Vinox mark, was so crowded, I couldn't get in. I, there was just so many people we couldn't get in to do much shopping. It was on a weekend. <laughs> okay, um, North Sampler House on Etsy. I had not heard of them before, and amazing. Sarah Markle, 1830. Isn't she beautiful? Just wow on that. So I thank you guys for joining me. I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving on Thursday. I'll be cooking. My husband's doing the meat for sure. If you want it to be edible, he has to cook the meat. <laughs> I have this thing of overcooking meat. It's so ridiculous. So I'm not doing the meat. Um, we originally were going to have prime rib, but one of our guests that was coming wanted turkey. And so we changed to turkey, even though I'm not a huge turkey fan. My husband did a brined turkey a couple years ago. It was delicious. So we bought a brined turkey and we'll be he'll be cooking that. And I'll be doing the sides to go with it. We ordered pies. So we're going to have a feast with just the two of us. So thank you for joining me for this video. And I hope you'll join me in my stitching Facebook group. The group is called Stitching 911 and 911 are the numbers. Stitching space and then 911. Join me on Facebook. We have a lot of fun. We have giveaways. We have challenges on the weekends. Lots of cross stitch news, new releases and stuff. So it's a really fun cross stitch group. Sometimes people will show their quilting and crochet and knitting. It's really fun. And again, if you're interested in the charts in comments below, this is number one. This is number two. And tell me which one you'd like. You can enter for both if you think you'll stitch them. And I'll be happy to mail to um, a winner of each chart. Just tell me something you're thankful for. Thanks, guys. Thanks for visiting me today. Have a happy Thanksgiving to everybody here in the U.S. There are several people I know of that live in other countries that will be celebrating as well. And I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you in two weeks. I will also have a stitch with me coming up. I have uh, questions in my comments from the last video, which I will get to. Don't think I did not uh, see them. And I will also answer some questions and we'll have a fun stitch with me probably next week. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody.